Hello friends. Today I am going to talk about industry engineering. People agree that uh, the evolution of industrial engineering took place around first industrial revolution. At the time when people were moving from manual manufacturing or manual production to machine production. From there the industrial engineering is started to take place. F. W. Taylor is the father of this industrial engineering, and at that time, Mrs. and Mr. Gilbreth were also working on this area. So these two people are known to be the originator of this industrial engineering. Industrial engineering is different from other disciplines of engineering. You can say that uh, engineering is. Uh, decompositional in nature that is what we do in in the traditional engineering that each part is studied and then wholesome is produced that is when you are designing each component these are going to be assembled and a product is going to be manufactured this is what the traditional engineering is but when we talk about industrial engineering it it is just just opposite of that that is here we are going to see the whole sum of that that is the whole product is going to be seen and then the components of that are going to be studied that is when the when we are going to see the whole of the product it means uh, we are going to know that what is going to be the effect of each part on this whole sum product so this is somewhat different of this uh, of this uh, traditional engineering now the question arises that that is uh, what is the need of this in industry engineering you know that uh, when we are going to start any venture any business our objective is to earn profit and how are we going to earn profit when we are going to uh, produce good quality product and also the product which is not going to have more cost more prices or more cost of that product and since this is a free type of market economy every person can enter in that area can produce anything so we are having a large number of producers in the market every producer is trying to have more market share or the more customer base for it's only then he is going to earn more profit so the competition is going to exist in the market that's why that is there is fiercely competitive market is there and you in order to survive in the market you need to produce your product such that this is going to be accepted by the customer second thing is this that uh, earlier before this uh, industrial revolution whatever was being produced the only objective was that it is going to fulfill the purpose of that that product but now with the passage of time the customers are not only interested in getting their work or getting their objective fulfilled but they are also trying to find out uh, that what other requirements can be fulfilled for example you can take the example of bata bata india in earlier we were having only few designs of this bata india and the their objective was to produce the sturdy or the robust product and people were buying for that when more people have, have come in the market more producers were there different type of uh, uh, companies were there then in order to gain the market share or retain the market share they also started making their product aesthetic aesthetically that is aesthetics came into picture so uh, the strategy of that bata changed to to earlier it was only the robust that is the, uh, the strong product was there now they have incorporated that with the aesthetics of that so this market uh, was uh, or the customer were uh, their demand is going to be fulfilled when they took into consideration the aesthetics were there apart from that third you can say that the industry was required to produce the cost at the minimum rate then the resource optimization came into picture only that amount of material was required to be used only th uh, that amount of uh, physical resources were going to be utilized those were required so optimization came into picture and when we are taking all things into consideration then 
we were able to meet the modern day challenges of this manufacturing or service industry so the because of these the, uh, these things the uh, industrial engineering is started getting wider participation or getting wider scope or getting more acceptability as far as the engineers were concerned so now we can define this industrial engineering which was the definition which was given by american institute of industrial engineers they say that industrial engineering is concerned with the design improvement and installation of integrated system of men materials and equipment that is here you have taken two aspects into consideration what you are going to see you are going to take into consideration the system together with the main materials and equipment how are you going to do they are going to say it draws upon specialized knowledge and skills in mathematical physical sciences together with the principles of methods engineering analysis and design to specify predict and evaluate the results to be obtained from such systems that is uh, with this definition it came to existence that you are going to design a system you are going to improve a system or you are going to install a system and on what basis you are going to do that you are getting all this information through uh, interdisciplinary nature that is you are going to utilize your mathematical skills you are going to utilize your physical sciences or whatever it is required to design a system on the basis of that you are designing a system and accordingly this def definition was formulated so objectives were that you are designing a system or developing a method for better operations and controlling the production cost second thing is you are trying to find out what are the different ways of reducing cost that is which material is required uh, if suppose the application is not of very uh, very sophisticated nature or you can say very uh, precision type of requirement or not there The, then you can use a cheaper material or vice versa uh, vice versa depending upon the requirement of that product third thing may be that the when you are having designing a new method or doing something new or or you are developing a system integrated system of man machine and material then you are also improving the efficiency of the process like you can say that earlier there were four wheelers in which all the parts were made uh, like bonnet and uh, guard etc they were all made of steel but with the passage of time they have changed into uh, into fiber parts or plastic parts there were uh, the advantages were two that is in uh, first is this that in case of accident etc et the shock was going to be absorbed and another was the weight was going to be reduced because of that the efficiency was going to be improved and earlier it was only that how the product was going to be manufactured now more and more emphasis is being given that how the worker safety can be there so that we are not going to be involved in paying compensation cost or accidental damages etc etc so these are again going to give uh, again going to be, give a mileage as far as this industrial engineering is concerned so since the industrial engineering is having a different aspect different dimensions are there different things you have to take into consideration there are many te techniques which can be utilized for this industrial engineering some of them you can say that method study as the name says as the name indicates in the case of method study you are finding out the best method of performing that task you are reducing or eliminating unnecessary motions then the time is going to be reduced and the work is is going to be carried out effectively second one is the time study here in this case uh, you are finding out what is the optimum task that is it is not the maximum task which is to be Uh, carried out by the worker it is the what is the fair days task this was uh, the concept which was given by taylor he studied different workers and come out with that the worker should do a particular amount of 
task or the worker should do the task which is which is going to be a fair day's task and not the maximum task which he is to carry out in the case of motion economy here you are minimizing motions or reducing the unrelated or non relevant motions while performing the task in case of value in analysis you are keeping the performance of your uh, product same but reducing the cost of that that is you are not compromising with the quality and the performance of your product but you are finding out ways so that the cost may be reduced inventory control is a very very important area this is a large topic in which a large number of or different components or different aspects are going to be considered but broadly you can say uh, in this you are saying that what is uh, the inventory of total what is the total amount of material required what is the finished goods inventory what is the in process inventory how much material is required by the company when should it be procured uh, you have to see that it should not be the case that the material is not available uh, in the company and the worker are sitting idle or it should not be so much that uh, it should not be too much material in the company that uh, your capital is going to be involved in there etc etc job evaluation you are evaluating the job to know what are the important things or what uh, uh, what components are going to be redesigned or what components are going to be combined so that the cost is going to be reduced another is the material handling analysis you know as far as engineering is concerned or industries are concerned uh, a large number of material movement is there too much material movement is going to take place in some of the cases this material is going to be there uh, that is uh, very frequent material movement is going to be there but in some cases uh, you need to have uh, uh, the worker to lift or to carry the material from one place to another uh, at a at a say normal rate so when you are having very frequent movement of there you can think in terms of conveyor belt type of thing that is continuous movement is going to be there or when you are going to have live uh, lower material movement in that case uh, again you may go for manual material type of thing so you have to decide that what type of uh, a uh, scheme should be there as far as your industry is concerned ergonomics is another important as aspect and it is very very important uh, from nowadays that people um, because people have become aware industries have become aware that if suppose uh, the worker is performing a task and if suppose he is going to meet with any accident or uh, then there is there is going to be the compensation claims etc or if suppose uh, because of the work has not been designed properly or the working environment is not correct or he is going to work in a in a in a very very awkward situation then in that case uh, he may not be giving his full efficiency or full performance is not going going to be there so in that case what is the scenario that the um, uh, you are not going to get the proper result as far as this worker is concerned and you may not be able to get the desired results in the case of uh, so uh, ergonomy so this human resource is given the proper attention in the in industrial engineering so this is uh, giving you the increase in productivity and the safety of the worker is also going to be ensured in the case of systems analysis that you are going to analyze the system and designing it properly taking into consider uh, consideration various techniques of industrial engineering operation research technique is analytical techniques in this case uh, you can utilize the your uh, mathematical analysis or or various other techniques to optimize the the method or to come out with a proper method which is going to give you better these different uh, uh, techniques are utilized to or design a system to improve the system or to 
see whether uh, whether the the system which has been designed is performing in the best possible manner or not thank you